Hello and welcome everyone to new Heroes of Mana Badge Free Tale list. In this one, we have a bunch of Death Knights lined up to be ranked from D test tier, and they're going regularly high on the list. Death Knight is a wonderful class that are so good that despite being necromancy start, they are regularly used in other factions as well. That's how good they are. They are a might class, so they have six primary stats from the very get-go of the game, but also they cheat a spellbook, and most of their spells are pretty good as well. Um, they're very likely to roll offense, armor, interference, um, um, earth magics. They roll so many good skills, okay, that they usually have like a bunch of basic skills, really, really good high tier skills that they actually just can level up because they keep rolling good skills. It's literally the definition of first world problems when you're playing Death Knight. Um, so yeah, let's get to ranking them. First off is we have Charna. Um, Charna is the white specialist. She brings two stacks of whites immediately into the game, which is pretty nice since Walking Dead are really not that good. And uh, she also starts off with the necromancy, tactics, and also a magic arrow in her spellbook. And that's pretty good. It's a very good package. She is the kind of hero that you like to see in your tavern to get like a little bit of extra army. She, you send the zero over into black towers. She can be your like side necromancer hero. You don't regularly build her into a main because I don't really feel like um, Necropolis benefits from tactics that much. They are really, really hungry for many other skills such as offense, armor, wisdom, intelligence, earth magics, you know? Um... Despite tactics being like a really high tier skill, because uh, necromancers are so power hungry for like other things, you usually don't really treat her as like a main primary thing. So yeah, because of that she, despite being good, ends up being not exactly the best. I would put her high B tier, or low A tier, I'll see. Um, next up is we have the Galfran, one of the best uh, necromancers in the entire game. I mean, Death Knights in the entire game. He is um, the skeleton specialist, and he's your go to star for whenever he's available. He's usually available mostly in Jeebus templates, and in non Jeebus templates, he's replaced by Ran Lu. So, whenever you get this guy, he's so good. With him, uh, with him as a starting hero, you actually get like 150 skeletons from the very get go of the game. The moment that you spawn in, that can take a tier 1 console for free, can take a churchyard for free, crypts, like whatever. Um, with Galfriend, your starts are amazing, and this guy builds into a really good hero too. Um, his spe uh, skeleton specialty brings you to um, um, get the skellies fast enough to actually make it past many threshold, making them like way more convenient to use as well. And yeah, it's really, really great. He starts off with the shield spell, which is not the best, but honestly, it's a decent spell. Um, having to roll for one less uh, good spell in the tavern is somewhat decent, you know? I mean, not the tavern, the mage guild, sorry. Um, he also starts off with uh, necromancy armor, which are really solid skills to be had. Um, and because of this, he actually takes the S tier. I sometimes even play this guy in castle because, um, you know, he rolls offense, earth, armor, like whatever you need, really. Such a wonderful hero. Um, good uh, super tier for Necro and even a non-Necro. He would be like A tier. But um, of course, we treat him... Uh, we give him the respect he deserves. Next up is we have the Aitra. He... Um, he's very, very similar to um, the Domina. They are both advanced Necromancy start, Necromancy specialists. Uh, Aitra ends up having Magic Arrow in your spellbook immediately. And that's kind of okay. It ends up being decently strong. She is a little bit behind the Domina because the Domina ends up having that broken thing where she always rolls the Wisdom and the School of Magic. Um, but Defna, I mean, Aisha doesn't have that, so she's actually more likely to be failed at level three in terms of a skill tree. And also, the payoff is not as high because um. Death Knights, uh, whenever you main like a Death Knight, you kind I mean, a Necromancer in general, anyone with Necromancy, you kind of want to have the magic stats, so you usually prefer the Damana over the Aisra, so she ends up falling a little bit behind. But she's one of the best possible mains. Her, you know, her peak potential is like way better than Galfran. However, on average, I would say she is worse. 
Next up is we have the Lord Heart, the Lich version. Uh, this guy is the Black Knight Specialist. The Black Knight Specialty doesn't really end up doing that much. He starts off with advanced uh, necromancy, so she he falls uh, short on level 3 pretty often, uh, the same way that Aishra does. And also he starts off with slow in the spellbook, which is actually really good. Having slow from the very get-go of the game is a very solid thing to be had, and uh, that is also, mm, you know, not to be underestimated. He's a solid hero, you kind of like to see him like in your tavern whenever he is actually available. He's generally not available because he's a campaign hero, but some templates actually allow him. And this guy is actually like a turbo machine, okay? Like look at him, that face. That's not the face of mercy. But then again, that is the face of a side hero that's just gonna be collecting skeletons for you. Beat there. Next up is we have the Moander, uh, the Lich Specialist. He ends up starting with slow, which is really solid, really good. You want to see him whenever you have a scholar, so you can actually learn a spell, or you know, just get him to cast one on his own. Uh, he's the Lich Specialist, Lich Specialty doesn't really end up uh, making that big of a deal, and also he is pretty botched on a very good go of the game, because he ends up having necromancy and learning. That is not very good. <clears throat> you see, if you have like a really, really good hero, you can actually overcome having one less, I mean, one dead skill uh, on your hero if he ends up rolling everything else perfectly and he has like many selling points. But two is going way too far and he ends up being bad for any non necro gameplay. And also, he's pretty bad for necro as well because, um, as I said, they're really, really hungry for many good skills. Now, luckily, Death Knights and Necromancers kind of provide that. But uh, it takes a little too long for Minder to ever get going. He is one of the most garbage Death Knights in the game. Uh, next up is we have Randlu. Uh, this is the hero that's going to be replacing Galfran in most of the Indonjibus templates. He is not so good. He's the artillery specialist. He ends up having artillery. Um, I mean, a ballista immediately into the game. Necromancy, artillery as secondary skills. Um... And yeah, he doesn't really have anything special going on. He's just a very, very super basic guy. Just basically like a pack filler. You know, Galfran is gone. I guess we need a necromancer. Throw this artillery guy in here. Uh, nobody cares about this guy. And uh, I don't know. He looks kind of cool like a vampire. But then again, Vakal exists. So this guy kind of falls flat compared to him. So yeah. Not really amazing. Ends up uh, giving you less army. The uh, the ballista for necromancers don't really matter, so it kind of falls short like way too many ways. Also, like artillery is not a good skill, especially for necromancers compared to anyone else. So because of this, I would say he goes C tier. Next up is we have Straker. Whoa, this hero, this hero, this is the bane of necro gameplay. Okay, whenever you start um. With Straker, you're really, really sad. You get, like, no skeletons from him. Because, you know, he starts off with three stacks of zombies. And that's not a lot of zombies, because they end up rolling pretty low. And, um, honestly, as a hero, he's pretty good. He has in the necrom I mean, necromancy and interference start. So he can build into a really powerhouse late-game main. Like, the kind of main that would destroy any other main, you know? Like, the actual late-game superhero. But in the early game, he's, like, way too... Way too hard to get going. So the way that you actually usually use them is you use his haste that he has in the spell book to take some cheeky little fight, and that's basically it. Uh I feel like he deserves D tier just because of how many necro games he messes up. Um this guy is the guy that you really don't want to see. Despite actually him being not as bad as your guts would tell you. I have to put him in D tier though. This guy ruins too many games. He he needs punishment for the crimes he commits. Uh, next up is we have Tomika. Uh, Tomika uh, is a hero that starts off with uh, basic uh, necromancy and offense. She is the Black Knight Specialist. Now, and also starts off with magic hero in the spellbook. They're... I mean, she's good. She has, she's actually really, really good. You have uh, great uh, starting skills. She rolls into many, many other good skills. She ends up being a really solid, good hero, and uh, one of the best Death Knights in the game, really. I would say she only falls a little bit short to Aisra in uh, Necro gameplay, and actually a little bit better than Aisra in non-Necro gameplay. 
So I would say she is honestly at least 8 there. The Black Knight specialty doesn't really do much for her at all. Um, Black Knights are pretty rare units and, and even then when you use them, you don't really feel much of a difference when you have the specialty for them anyway. So they're kind of meh. And Clavis is literally the same except for the specialty and the looks. And honestly, I'm going to be rating uh, him higher than Tomka based on the looks. Dude, this guy looks amazing. Um, yeah, I really like the looks of Clavius. He looks very nice. He is the gold specialist. Um, and honestly, he's the preferred choice in mirror matches. Um, Necropolis mirror matches usually end up being Clavius versus Tomica very often. And Clavius is actually the first choice over Tomica. Uh, despite, you know, the specialty maybe situationally be being better for Tamika, McLevis is actually more consistent with the 350 gold. So yeah, there he goes. Next up is we have the, uh, uh the Kyle. This is the Vampire Specialist. And now everybody loves Vampire Lords, okay? And so do I. Um, but Lakyle really really doesn't like them because he's so bad the vampire specialist ends up starting with um necromancy and artillery that's not really a good skill set whatsoever um he doesn't do much for you at all he is basically randly um except he doesn't actually boss your army for the sake of a ballista which actually makes him a little bit better um also his face is not as disgusting as randless as well so yeah he... Uh, wait, I have to talk about thematics, okay? Um, originally, don't you kill vampires with a stake through their heart? So, like, a ballista, right? You could, like, just shoot it, catapult that stake um, right into the heart of the vampire. Why is the vampire guy specializing in vampire... In what would be vampire killing? Makes no sense. Anyway, see there. There it goes. So, that is my list for Heroes of Mana Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss, Death Knights. Uh, yeah... Death Knights are a pretty solid class. The only thing that actually keeps them down is the fact that they are, you know, necromancers. So they start off with necromancy. If you could actually over overgo that, then they're really, really amazing in many ways. And now I summon the tribunal, Ami and Feral. Hey guys. Hey Lexi. Hey Ami. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Hey Feral. Doing good. Doing good. Thanks, Lexi, again for having us here. So. Could you, could you please open up the tier list again? <laughs> you need to stop doing this right now. Anyway, yeah, I agree with most of those choices. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ame, are you okay? Sure. Feral, you go first. <laughs> need to... All right. Well, well Ame tries to, to get a little bit more mature. I'll try and go first. So, a couple of things I wanted to point out. Just firstly, to add to, to Galtran. I'm not sure if you mentioned it, but he starts off with the shield spell in his spell book um, from the beginning of the game. Yep. And I think that's way more impactful than you might think, given that you have 100 plus skellies to start off with. Mm -hmm. Damage output really isn't a problem, but that shield actually helps you to conserve a lot of skeletons in the early fight, which is great. And he starts off with Armorer, and Armorer is one of the less likely might skills that you can pick up as a Death Knight, so that just makes him even more insanely yeah. good. Very um, consistently, the top tier skelters, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, never I, think he, I mean, he's without doubt the best in this list for me, but I think he's even better than just one tier above the other. He's really, really good. Yeah. Um, and then the, I definitely <laughs> agree with what you're saying about Straker. I think if you play Necro, assuming you start off with Galtron like most, most do, Straker might be the worst possible hero in the entire game that you can see in your tavern. Yeah. Um, Definitely, yeah. And so it can be very frustrating to see him. Yeah. And then, in terms of uh, Aistra, I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this, Lexi, because you kept referring to Aistra as a female. How on earth is that portrait female? Uh, look at that l nice long hair, right? And that uh, okay. feminine skull. Guys, I hate to cut you off, but they all look kind of disgusting. What? Like, look at the boss! Whoa, 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 whoa. They're all literally dead. Like, they're all literally dead. What if you're banging Lord, them, okay, what are you doing? Lord Hard? What about Lord Hard? Lord Hard. He looks. Dude, his eyes are red. Like. He's a Terminator! What? He's gonna fuck your ass! <laughs> <laughs> Cannot okay, argue like... that logic. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you the Lord Hard, but the other ones, honestly, like. Don't want to get a. 
from any of these. So anyway, yeah, um, I feel like you guys have something for Duff Knights, but I'll just ignore that. So I'm just going to point out Straker does start with haste, like you said. So I don't think he's the worst. Like there's, there's truly worse, like the ones with eagle eye specialties and everything, you know. So I feel like he would go to the last of C tier. Feral, would you agree with that? No, I'll still put him at the lowest tier, just because he has the ability to completely ruin your game if you get him in your tavern early. Haste is great, I agree, and it's brilliant for, for the Necro town in general. But given that he has such a high potential to completely destroy your entire game if you see him, I, I'm happy with him being as low as possible. That's yeah. only if you tunnel vision. Like, if you get him later on, you know, he could still be pretty useful as a side hero. I, I agree. He could be pretty useful as a side hero, but if his best selling point is potentially useful as a side hero, that's not a very good selling point in my mind. Look okay, at... using that logic then, sorry, uh, Lexi, just one point. Yeah. So what about Aistra and Clavius? They both have like magic arrows. Like, sure, Clavius I can understand, offense is useful, but what about Aistra? She has such a, a huge risk of getting useless skills because she starts with advanced necro. The only way she's good is if you are playing necro. What about the other sounds? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, the, the, yeah, then she actually falls uh, flat. I would say Calabius is better than Aisra than in non-Necro gameplay. However, I really do want to respect the absolute dominance that an Aisra in late game would show. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I agree with that. If you're not playing Necro, Aisra is not a good hero for you early, but late game can be great. So yeah, I agree with that. Mm. So yeah, I guess that's it from us, yeah. Thank you for the input from the Tribunal. Um, thank you for joining as always, Ami and Feral. Nice to have you here. See you guys. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Catch me live on Twitch. I stream every day. And subscribe to YouTube for more. Um, me, my tier list, and the Tribunal Action tier. So, ciao, ciao. I'm the most important one.